Hi, I'm Severo from Honor Plugins. Um, today I'm here because I want to show you the latest plugin we developed. Uh, it's called Butterfly and um, it's meant to be used on the master bus of your mixes, but it also can be used on um, separate channels as a channel strip. So because it contains uh, all the tools needed for mastering and mixing, it's in a single plugin. In fact, we find an equalizer, a compressor, a clipper, and a limiter. The equalizer is based uh, on our Total EQ plugin and uh, provides uh, six different bands that you can uh, tweak at your will and uh, provides a compressor that is based on our sync presser and uh, a clipper and limiter taken directly from our Magnus and Key2 plugin. So in a single package you find all the tools you need for master your track and um, uh, the same processing is found in our SAMP plugin and uh, this is dedicated to Dolby Atmos mixing. So uh, we decided to take uh, the same processing tools and put it in a package for stereo mixes uh, because uh, we had a request uh, from you from, for, to make this kind of plugin because you thought it may be useful to have all these tools in a single package. We also provide uh, um, LAUFS monitoring uh, instead of uh, the channel selection you find in the SAMP plugin because of course you only have uh, stereo channels here and uh, since this is uh, meant to be used on the master bus uh, we um, have added both input and output LAUFS monitoring so you know the levels you have in before the plugin and after the plugin so you can reach your desired target. Um, but uh, I won't bother you anymore with talk and I show you directly how the interface of the plugin looks. So this is the interface of the plugin and uh, uh, we have, uh, as I was saying, uh, on the left side the UFS monitoring, we have the input here and the output over here and of course the reset button that brings everything back to uh, um, initial state. And uh, then we have uh, the input slider where you can increase or decrease the input level to the plugin. And uh, we have the output slider that you can use to uh, set your output level. For, uh, master, uh, for mastering application like we are going to do right now, I would suggest setting it to negative 0 0.3 dBs to have a little bit of room um, in, the, in the digital master. Then we have the global bypass button, the sync button that I've disabled for this application because uh, I don't know the original tempo of the song. If I, was, uh, if I were knowing the, the tempo, I could have uh, toggled it and uh, every uh, time-based setting, uh, like the attack and release of the compressor, the release of the limiter, would be synced to the tempo though. But since I don't know the tempo, I will uh, leave it un unchecked, disabled, so uh, I can use the standard uh, milliseconds uh, regulation. Then in the central part, we have the interface of the selected module up here. Now we are on the equalizer module, and uh, we have the spectrum analyzer here that we're going to see soon once I start doing the, the mastering. And uh, then we have uh, the bypass button that bypasses the single module. Uh, in the compressor interface we have uh, the input level. This uh, uh, round, uh, circle around here shows the side, the side chain level so we can use it to uh, set the threshold correctly. And we have the game reduction meter on the right. And then we have the standard compressor uh, controls like the ratio, the attack and release. You can uh, uh, make this compressor work in feedback mode uh, or you can use the RMS or peak mode uh, for mastering. Uh, I would suggest keeping it on RMS. Then we have a knee setting. Uh, um, zero uh, dot 0.5 setting is a uh, 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 let's say a moderate knee that is not too soft and not too hard 
but you want if you want a very soft knee you can bring it to one and if you want a very hard knee just bring it to zero and you have a pure digital uh, compressor then you have the clipper module that can work in soft clip and I suggest keeping it on because it's more natural or in a hard clip and if you uh, use the hard clip you are going to uh, cut everything that uh, uh, exceed the zero uh, dB level and uh, to make it clip you have the gain control that you can increase so that the signal reaches the, the clipper ceiling. The same goes for the limiter and you have the input on the left, the gain reduction on the right and the gain controls how much gain reduction is applied because uh, the limiter has a, a fixed ceiling at 0 dB so if you increase the gain you're going to hit the ceiling and the limiter is going to reduce your signal then you can uh, uh, go to negative 0, 0 3 uh, dB on the output so you are not saturating completely the digital master and uh, of course I'm uh, having a, a 2000 millisecond release here because sync is disabled. If I enable sync, I can choose between one of the musical time division. The same goes for the compressor, of course. And if I disable sync, I get the regular milliseconds controls. So now, I'm, let me take my headphones so I can have a listen to the master. And let's try to uh, master this song using this plugin. So with my headphones on, I will try to master this song uh, using the tools in Butterfly. So uh, let's first have a listen and see where we have to act with the equalizer. So we have quite a nice slope and if I toggle one of the control points here I can see it uh, but maybe we have a little bit too much of uh, stuff over here in the mid-range so I will remove that with uh, a bell shaped EQ just a little bit not too much maybe 3 dB with a very wide Q then I will uh, add a little bit of a high frequency to make it more shiny with um, an ice shelf Okay, just 3 dB. Okay, so let's have a listen once again. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna cut everything below uh, 30 Hz because uh, there is no content there and uh, I don't want any rumble in my master. So just put an iPass here. Okay, nice, nice. Then we move on to the compressor and uh, we will try to um, bite uh, the, um, the, 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 the track with uh, just a little bit of compression with a, a quite a fast attack of 10 milliseconds and a slow release up to one second. I'm going to use the RMS mode 
and uh, a smooth to ratio. Okay, so let's try to just compress uh, two or three dB. Okay, perfect. Uh, you've seen the purple uh, around, uh, around the um, circle here that shows the sidechain level and I've uh, just adjusted the threshold so it just crosses it, crosses it. so uh, I have uh, a nice uh, slow um, uh, movement and just a little bit of gain reduction. Now I go on to the clipper where I'll try to start to increase the level of the track to match our target that for this track is uh, uh, around uh, negative 15 uh, LUFS because we want to get it ready for streaming. Uh, we can go even higher if we want, but I don't think negative, negative 10 is a realistic target nowadays. So uh, let's stick to negative uh, 15. So with this track we went even higher to negative 11 without just touching the limit, the clipper. I can uh, put it just down to 3dB and I can go onto the limiter and see um, if I can get even higher without compromising the sound quality.
I have been tweaking uh, the clipper, the limiter, uh, to get the loudest possible signal without compromising the snare that if I go to 5 dB of gain, it goes completely away. So I reduced it to 4. And I adjusted the output level so that the true peak wasn't too high. The true peak measurement is uh, uh, made with oversampling. So uh, it's uh, the actual peak that is going to be uh, on the output of your uh, digital analog converters. So we don't want it to be uh, that high uh, to avoid uh, saturating the uh, analog output of the converters. So uh, this was Ordered Butterfly and with this plugin I've been able to master the song quite easily as you can, as you can see from the video. And it's available right now on www.honorplugins.com. We have a demo that you can download to try it out. The limitation is that every 30 seconds it silence out and uh, you cannot save the parameter with your session. And, uh, but if you want to buy it, you have 15 days of 100% money back guarantee. So uh, just try it out and give us your feedback. Thank you very much for watching the video.